Hey Moose, hey Minnie. We all a soggy mess. Yeah, you're not too bad. Your head's dry. Hey Minnie, you're pretty dry too. You just look nasty. It's been raining all night and this morning. They usually get up in their little doghouse yurt. You keeping the chicken safe? Huh? I'm gonna get you all fenced here soon. Let me get your eye boogers. There you go. Hey. You been sleeping all day? So Moose is 11 months old. He's 85 pounds. Mini now is six months old and 60 pounds. So they're growing up nice and big. Chickens, they're doing good. They're molting right now, starting to lose their feathers and stuff like that. And they're not laying but one to three eggs a day. Sometimes none, but mostly one, one or two. But they're doing good. If you have seven left still, we're just letting them rest in the wintertime. We're not going to force them to lay or anything like that. Good boy, Moose. Yeah. You good, girl, Minnie? I know. We'll get you a big fence here soon. You can have the whole property to run around on. Yeah. You good boy. You good boy. Alright. It's a little cold today, but... I've got a Christmas present I'm gonna build. For my grandparents, they're getting older. They're in their like mid upper 70s. And they've gardened and done some farming stuff their whole life. But they're finding it hard to garden anymore. My papa actually has a tractor and he plows his garden and all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna make them a raised bed for Christmas. That way they can have a little bit of garden. They can be right outside their door and they don't have to bend over all the way to the ground to plant and weed and pick their plants. Um, I think this will be good for them and it'll help them keep gardening without doing all the work that plowing and all that it takes. So today I'm gonna build just a simple raised bed. I've never done, done this before, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So first off, I'm gonna show you all what we've got material wise to work with at Lowe's they had the cedar um, their picket fence boards so they're made to go on the I guess the side of a picket fence they have the dog ears I guess it's called they're six by four by like 0.625 inches or something like that so they're not very thick so what I figured is I could put two together and kind of make a almost a two by four by six. And it's made out of cedar, so it shouldn't really rot much over time. Then for the corner post, we have a whole stack of this locust rough cut post fence post in our field for our fence. So I'm going to sacrifice one or two of those for my corner posts. Um, these were only like a dollar seventy something at Lowe's, so all this was less than fifty dollars, I believe. So it's not that bad. Um, you could use old pallets or something like that for free, but it'd probably rot over a few years. This should last a while, I'm hoping. So that's what we're gonna do. I've got a new Milwaukee saw and a drill and a like impact driver. So, first time using this saw, never had any Milwaukee tools before, it's actually my first circular saw I've had in my life. Used them a few times, but never had my own, so, gonna use it and build stuff for a homestead and a Christmas gift. First thing I'm gonna do is, for the, not the big size, but the short side, I'm gonna cut these in half. So it should be a six foot by three foot bed.
So next I'm gonna cut our posts 21 inches. That should do four section of the post. Um, four of these boards tall is 23 inches, so we're gonna be two inches short. That's fine, I think. Um, that way I don't have to sacrifice two boards for just a little bit more. I can use just one board and it be equal four parts. So we're gonna do it at 24, 21 inches. four pieces so we've got our end post and then our first our first um, I guess layer of the sides and then the big side we'll just use the full length so time to start screwing them together all right here we go putting our first screws into the board and the sidewall I'm not good at woodworking, so I'm not good at all this stuff. Something I've not done much of. put a few more screws in it something that'd be really nice someday is to have a shop to work on stuff like this and not do everything on my hands and knees on my back deck so that's something to shoot forward to We've got something that we just did that may make that possible sooner than later better we just got home from work she had to come say hi to her mutts my big mutts big mutt Man, you're dirty. Look how the back is. Oh, both of them are all black. Yeah. His head's all dry, though. Yeah. Hey, do you not want to jump up there? She doesn't like play. jumping up on those no. fence. No. Hey. Hey. She's like, can you do it? Come here, I'll put you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come Hey, we match. <laughs> so, yeah, we're both fluffy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good, please. Like we just want out. Start a crew. Cat, you want in? You're um, bottom heavy there, buddy. <laughs> This cat actually comes out here and hangs out with the dogs and chickens all day when he's not trying to get to the black cat. You okay? Do you need a 
attention. <laughs> you. Uh oh. Swear. You got a paw print. We're even more twins now. <laughs> we look even more alike. Hey, big girl. Sweet. You keep yawning. Are you like me? You yawn when you're cold. I'm sleepy. Oh. Curled up by my foot. He's right there. Okay. Hey, big boy. <laughs> hey. Telling me. You can't <laughs> get out there, bud. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Bert. Code? Yeah. Bye guys. You be good. You be good. Yeah. They never poor, get to the, they never get things. to go do anything fun. No. Never get outside. No. They cooped up. So I got started, so that means you're gonna finish it, right? just did the easy part. Yeah. Now it's time <laughs> for the big guns to take over. Okay. I expect it finished in 30 minutes. Okay. 25. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Better yet, you can fix dinner. <laughs> that I can do. Okay. Do you want me to? I will good? take your meatloaf anytime. Okay. Guys, I broke the head off my junky drill bit. Never done that before in my life. This one's horrible though, and now you can tell why. I've only got three more screws left. All right, guys, we're back in action. Got me a new drill bit. Um, I need to get some actually good ones. Some Milwaukee or another good brand. I've used some for my father-in-law that has like the black tip. I guess they're hardened or something. But they work a lot better than this. This is all I've ever had in my life, and they're not very good. They always strip everything out. And that's the first one I've had break on me.
there we go guys I believe that's gonna do it it is it's a little above knee high for me so I believe that should be a good way for them to not really have to bend over have the soil up to here and just not even have to really bend over at all what I'll do is probably put some cardboard down maybe some hardware cloth I'm not sure yet then put some sticks and logs and stuff in it and fill it full of probably I guess garden soil or compost too and then probably put some sifted wood chips on top so it'll be a um, raised bed but using the wood chips too kind of like the back to Eden way so I believe they're gonna like that it should be a good Christmas present for them it's not fancy at all it's rough around the edges but it's gonna do the purpose that I built it for and I believe they're gonna be happy with it I've got maybe 50 bucks in it just using some cedar wood I found at Lowe's and some locust posts that I already had and then I bought some screws that was like 10 or 12 dollars I didn't even use them all so I believe that I do I hope they like it so thanks for watching guys thanks for keeping along and keeping up with us and watching our videos and commenting there ain't much of y'all yet but hopefully someday we'll grow and become bigger and actually a somewhat well-known homestead channel and who knows who knows what the future will hold we're going to be doing a lot of stuff next year and try to build some gardens our garden bigger and better through the winter for next year so check back next time to see what we're doing on the so happy homestead we're so happy together